basically just all the different camps and different activities I participated in in the Philippines. As a Peace Corps volunteer, Shauna Aaron learned a lot. For one, any day in the Philippines is reason to party, and the main dish at any true party is something Shauna was, at first, reluctant to eat. Baboy lechon. It's basically just a pig roasting on a stick. And volunteer Obi Pressman learned why asking villagers to simply plant a tree is not so simple after all. I couldn't afford the 50 cents U.S. that it would cost to buy a tree. 50 cents U.S. Obi and Shauna, both UW graduates, each served two years in the Peace Corps, discovering strange foods, living without comforts we take for granted, and dealing with bouts of illness, even loneliness. Challenging? Without question. Worth it? Absolutely. When you go to a developing country, a lot of the things that used to be very easy take a lot of work, like making dinner, like doing your laundry, like getting from school to home. So. I became even more independent in a way that I never imagined. And I was reached and touched in ways that I don't get to experience much in the U.S. The way that people interacted with me and befriended me was just, it was very, really raw. So I hope you realize, and I know you do, that our, the future of the Peace Corps really rests with you. Now in its 50th year, the Peace Corps has changed the lives of over 2,600 University of Washington graduates. In fact, among large U.S. colleges, UW ranks as the third largest source of volunteers since the Peace Corps began. The UW is historically top four with a number of Peace Corps volunteers who have served. And then for four years running, it was number one in the country. Three schools on campus offer a master's degree in conjunction with a two-year term in the Peace Corps. And it was one of those master's programs, a degree in public administration, which drew Obi Pressman from a life as a successful high-tech entrepreneur into a life of international service. I was doing very well. It was distinctly unfulfilling. Obi spent a year studying on campus and then two years serving in Namibia. During that time, he helped local artists and businesses expand their markets and devised a way to get free Arbor Day trees to villagers unable to afford them. And when he first arrived, the village annually planted only a handful of trees. And I said, hey, this is great. You know, you're planting some fruit trees, but why aren't more trees being planted? Do people not want to plant these trees? And they said, no, we would plant the trees, but, you know, we can't. By soliciting donations from friends back home, Obi offered free saplings to anyone willing to dig a hole and care for a young tree. In his final year, the plan paid off. And that year, we planted more than 2,100 trees. And I remember there was someone who said to me, you know, when we see these trees in 10 years, everybody's going to think of you and we're going to call these Obi's trees. We're not allowed to go to Mindanao. For Shauna Aaron, the rewards of Peace Corps service are part of family lore. Her dad, as a young man, served in the Peace Corps, but Shauna's decision to follow his lead happened only after she studied abroad while completing a degree in international studies. Assigned as a Peace Corps teacher in the Philippines, she took on much more. The daughter of a deaf mother, Shauna put her signing skills to use working with deaf adults, giving them the tools to further their livelihoods and their rights. I really wanted to say, you do have rights. You are part of a beautiful thing and a beautiful culture, and why don't you see, you know, what, what you can do? And that was a really um, powerful part of my Peace Corps experience, working with that group of people. Shauna admits adjusting to life in the Philippines wasn't easy. As with every Peace Corps volunteer, there was the inevitable run-in with the runs. Everybody goes through it. Everybody talks about it. Um, it becomes something that's funny. It's like, oh, how's your body today? Most Shauna and Obi say the good far outweighed any inconveniences. They made lasting friends and tangible differences in the lives of others and came to better know themselves. I mean, it is transformative what people want, how people want to live. We all fundamentally want the same things. And that experience just made it so obvious to me that what I want to be doing with my life is working on that connection. Any kind of person can go as long as they're really prepared for doing something really out of the ordinary, being flexible, and willing to give. 